Hello, welcome to the section of Mastering Statistics. Here we're going to continue working our problems with the empirical rule, uh, which is just telling you what percentage of data lies within one and two and three standard deviations. We're going to work a few of these uh, just to kind of give you a little more practice. Just to, They're not really hard, they just want to give you a couple more examples. So the first one says, the starting salary for graduates is bell-shaped with a mean of $25,400 and a standard deviation of $1,300. What percentage of graduates have a starting salary between $22,800 and $28,000 even? So it's this very similar to last time. We, we are told, first of all, that it's bell-shaped data. So that's, that's important because the empirical rule we've been talking about only applies to bell-shaped data, but I will tell you that most data out there is going to be bell-shaped, all right? So we know the mean, we know the standard deviation. So let's write that down. So for this data, we know that the mean is $25,400. And we know that the standard deviation of this guy is $1,300. All right. Now we're asked, what percentage of graduates have a starting salary between $22,800 and $28,000? So let's go and look at one sigma and two sigma and find out what those boundaries are and see if any of them line up. So what we'll do is we will first try one sigma. So we'll say for one sigma on either side of the mean, we have mean plus one standard deviation. So it'd be 25, 25, 400 plus 1300. When we add these guys together, we will get 26, 700. And then the mean minus one standard deviation would be 25, 400, minus 1300. And when we do this, we get 20, 24,100. So what we do is we look at this and we say, all right, are, is what we, or what we ask to look at actually doesn't line up with one sigma, one standard deviation. We can see that we're trying to find between 22,800 and 28,000. These limits here of one sigma do not line up with what we're asked to find. So we continue to expand our search and go look at two sigma and just see if any of that fits. So we say for two sigma, the mean plus the standard deviation is 25,400 plus two times 1,300 because it's two sigma. So when we do two times 1,300 and add it up like this, we'll get 28,000. And then whenever we look at one standard deviation on this side, be 25,400 minus two times 1,300, two sigma on the, on the low end of the mean, and then that'll be 22,800. Now these limits actually match exactly with what we're asked to find in the problem, 22,800 up to 28,000. So what we basically are asked to do is, it's, it's saying, if you could rephrase the problem, what percentage of graduates have a starting salary inside of two sigma uh, on either side of the mean, because that's what it is, two sigma, two standard deviations. And since we know that, this, that these endpoints we're asked to, to figure out is actually coinciding exactly with two sigma, then you really don't have any more work to do because you know that 95% of the graduates have salary. between 22,800 and 28,000 because this is exactly two sigma 